Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, as promised here on Nano Reef Builder, my follow-up uh, to my aquascaping. So hopefully you saw my previous video and I talked a little bit about using this trick here to know the dimensions of your tank and what it's gonna look like. Makes it easier for you to move things around without having to reach in and out of your tank or risk dropping rocks or scratching your grass, glass or acrylic. Uh, and just gives you a pretty good idea of what you're doing uh, before you start putting this thing together. So I have gone back and forth trying different designs. Um, I guess the good news is I don't have a lot of space to work with, right? I have this tiny little 6.6 uh, .6 gallon, basically one foot squared cube. Uh, so I don't have the, you know, tons and tons of options. This is the option I came up with using my Carob C uh, live rock. I have four different pieces here, and this is not uh, glued or welded. Uh, I say welded because I'm using JB Water Weld, which I've talked about previously as well. So this video is probably going to be in stages um, because we're not going to sit here and wait for this thing to cure. Uh, I'll turn off the video, but I'm going to go ahead and start. I've never used this product like I mentioned, and I'm going to give it a shot. I'm not going to wear gloves because you know what, dude? I live on the wild side like that. Uh, but other than that, I'm going to follow the directions. So let's see here. Instructions. Cut. It says cut. Remove required amount of putty. Mix. Wear gloves. Thoroughly knead putty with fingers to a uniform color. Press putty firmly to the surface to be repaired. Ooh, how about created? So, um, I don't know. Let's do this here. So, I had mentioned that I had heard and read a lot of good reviews on this stuff. Uh, but we are going to make our own decisions here. So, let's see here. All right, maybe I'll just leave that on. I don't, I'm going to try to just cut some with some scissors. And uh, let's just see what happens here. I don't even know how much I need. So it's got a little bit of a plastic film on it. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to take this off. I think I'm going to try to just do this piece right here first. It kind of seems like the easiest. Uh, and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to need this. It's kind of white uh, and gray and I'm going to just mix it all together, I guess, until it turns either white or gray, which I'm assuming is going to be gray. And the white, yep, that's what's happening. And so the white is disappearing. It does stink, that epoxy smell. Uh, so I'm probably dying as we speak here. And I'm not going to have any more fingerprints. But, all right, I'm kneading. It is turning mostly gray. It's definitely getting... A lot stickier. I'm going to assume it's hard to over knead it since it does say it takes at least 25 minutes to cure. Um, so I don't know. Um, there you have it, right? So what was I doing? Putting this rock right in there. So I don't know. I'm going to try to just put this glob right in here and then I'm just going to squish this right into place. I don't know. It's kind of hard. I should have probably had some other tools with me. I'm going to use this scissors just to kind of push this. Yeah, let me get, let's be a little smarter here, right? Uh, all right, well, I should have had some other tools. I'm thinking like a popsicle stick or even a small Q-tip or something like that would have probably been uh, a little bit more beneficial then using this scrap right here on the fly but I don't know I kind of think it's working so what I don't know is how much of this stuff you use what I'd like to do because it does dry gray is I'd like to start with a really uh, minimal approach okay so let me just show you what I have here so far Okay, so you can see right in there, you can see it's gray, you can see where I put it. Um, I don't know, I think it's going to blend in, cover up pretty quick, but I didn't use a lot. So we will let that cure. I figure it's probably best, right, I'm not in a race. It's probably best to just go one 
piece of rock at a time. I could probably do it all at once because this isn't going to cure. So I could probably do another piece and try to get it all. But I think I'm just going to go one at a time. I'm going to start with this piece. I'm going to give it some time. We'll come back and we'll check in on it. So there you have it. So I don't know. Give me about 25 or 30 minutes or so, maybe an hour. Maybe I'll go do something else. I'll come back. I'll check on this, see what it looks like. And if it's cured and it's holding well, then I'll do another piece and so forth. And we'll see if we can get this thing together. So hold on. Alrighty, so as promised, I am back. Uh, it has been a lot longer than 25, 30 minutes, like I said. Actually, wife came home early. We went out to pick pumpkins, had a great evening. Now we're back. It's like almost 9 p.m. So this has been curing for several hours hours uh, so I'm gonna assume that it's set uh, before we left basically right after I turned off the other video I did kind of place I don't think you guys can see them but I placed these little pieces of green tape because remember I only um, put the water weld on this section so I put a little piece of tape here and here like two little tapes and one over here because I'm gonna try to do the next two sections together um, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried that I'm not gonna get it lined back up. It's gonna be kind of frustrating, so we'll see. So, first thing I'm gonna do is take this apart because this part is not welded. And then we're gonna check this part right here. So if you remember, this was two different pieces. And, okay, so it is definitely uh, together. So you can kind of see in there, um, there it is where it's gray. Uh, right in there. That is the JB weld that I put in there. Uh, but this thing is solid. It's clearly one piece now. And so that is going to work. So I'm happy with that. So it definitely set. So now let's see if I'm going to be able to get. So I'm going to line up these two pieces of tape. Okay. So I think we're going to see if that's going to work. So I am going to try to mix up some more Whew. all right i feel like this could be a little bit trickier to get these pieces here lined up but let's see so i'm going to cut off some more of this i'm going to need about three pieces for this so I'm, i don't know i'm probably overkilling with how much that i'm using but like i said i haven't used this before so I don't know. I want to make sure I use enough, right? I'm hoping that in time, you can't see it on this. I, I don't know. We'll see if you can see this at first. I mean, obviously some people scape uh, with pure bleached out rock. And of course, eventually over time, it will get covered with corals and algaes and hopefully coralline algaes and look super pretty no matter what. So even if this shows up uh, at first for a while, I'm not really going to care. So I'm gonna put this big glob right here on this side. And I'm just gonna keep going here. So I am once again pretty pleased with this rock. I'm very pleased with how the first uh, use of this JB water weld worked on these uh, two rocks. I did pick the easiest two uh, to do first so we'll see how well i do with the rest of this so let's see so this one's going to go about right here stuff is definitely sticky but all in all pretty simple and it was cheap i think this was like six bucks uh for this jb water well that i got on Amazon. I'm getting tons of my stuff uh, off of Amazon, especially over this last weekend because they just had some big time, uh, not the last weekend, but this last week, last couple days, they had some big time sales. So, all right, so this will be the last piece here. Hopefully I get it where I need it. Okay, so let's see what happens. All right, so I'm going to try to line this back up. Let's see, let's start over here. I was trying to do something like so. 
with something like so. And let's just see. Okay. So it's sticking pretty good here. I think I put a lot more than needed over here on this side. I did get a little bit of a Q-tip this time and just took the fuzzies off the end to help me get this in the crevices. But I think this is going to work. I'm feeling definitely feeling good about this. Get this in here. So, I know this is thrilling video, but I just like you guys to see the whole process because as I'm doing it, this is what I'm doing and it is working. So I'm getting in here really good, squeezing this together. Get underneath here. Make sure I'm getting this really good. Okay. Well, there we have it, folks. I'm going to call that good. I don't really think it needs much more than that. So, there you can see what I have. And once again, this is what it will look like. I mean, I guess in some ways you guys are looking at it from the backside. I'm actually looking at it from the front. This is the angle that I prefer uh, looking at it from. But you can see I have a nice, nice arch and a lot of good places to put coral. So I'll turn it around. This is kind of how I'm looking at it. Uh, and I think it looks great. So obviously there is a, definitely a lot of this gray stuff that you can see and it does detract a little bit from all the nice pretty kind of fake purple coralline algae. But in time, this will all blend in and look great so there you have it all right well i'll let this dry and i will come back and add a little bit more onto the end of this video just where i pick the whole thing up and make sure that it's all super solid but so far so good for the jb water weld and my first try at the nano aquascape all right i'm back it is the next morning it's uh 7 45 saturday morning so i let this cure all night and here it is, so let's go, let's see. All right, so let's see if I can give you guys a nice close up. So, I don't know, I do think in particular on this piece, I probably use significantly more uh, well than I needed, but I don't know, there wasn't really a lot of contact point over there, but as you can see, this is totally together. It's one piece now, so I dig that. Um, I will be having it in my tank at this kind of an angle, something like so. Uh, so a lot of that gray stuff, I mean, you can see it, uh, you know, no lie. But once again, it should get covered up in time. Uh, I think I mentioned earlier, I mean, I could have used almost like that bleached out, you know, coral looking, uh, you know, dry rock. And that stuff eventually ends up looking like this too in time. So I'm, I'm pretty convinced that's all going to go away. That's what I've been told, uh, that it'll get covered up pretty quickly as long as my tank is doing well. But as far as the aquascape goes, uh, I am pleased with that. I only ended up using four of my nine pieces. Uh, so I could even, and I may, because uh, that was kind of fun, use the other five pieces that I have, perhaps break them up uh, and just try like a whole nother piece. Like I like this one for sure. I'm going to put this aside, uh, but I might create a second one uh, and then just go back and forth. Uh, but let's see here if we can do this. <clears throat> the moment of truth in some way. I want to be very careful, but let's put it in the actual tank. <clears throat> let's see. Huh? So here is uh, the tank. 
kind of hard to see with the light I know reflects off it. So I don't know how well we're really going to see this. And I'm going to be careful here. Uh, let me put this at the bottom. Not that I'm really too concerned about scratching the bottom, but I don't know. Maybe if I drop it. Uh, so let's put this in here. And yeah, let's see. I don't, once again, I don't know exactly the configuration uh, that I'm going for. I think probably something like so um i don't know man it's so hard to tell how you want to have it i mean at least for me it is but i don't know i'm thinking probably something something like that wow i can sort of mess around with this thing like every little like millimeter an inch makes a difference right uh but something like that so there you have it uh you can see it inside the tank I think it's going to fit great. Uh, I think it looks cool. I love the dimensions of this cube. I like the small space. I think it's going to fill up well. Um, so there was my first experience so far with the Carib Sea uh, Live Rock and the JB Water Weld putting together my first uh, Nano Scape. So there you have it. Guys, let me know. Comments, questions. Uh, have you guys used this stuff before? I think I've mentioned that pretty much in all the other videos that I've made. I really would like to hear other people's experiences. All of this is a first time for me. Uh, I've never actually even used epoxies or any sort of glue before. I've used a little bit of super glue um, to put frags under rocks, but I've always just stacked my rocks. I've had much bigger tanks with much bigger rocks, and I always felt really comfortable that they were set in place. Uh, so this is the first time I've done this, and so far, uh, so good. The process continues.